In these uncertain times in India, I collected a set of questions regarding COVID-19 that my friends and family including me had. I then reached out to these panel of doctors, Dr. Samiran Panda, director and scientist at ICMR and Nari, Executive Director Medical Coal India Limited, CMO and Deputy CMO Coal India Limited headquarters. They answered questions and gave some great advice related to these topics and in this video we are going to cover this topic. What about the, the other doctors? Do you have any um, uh, any suggestion or any opinion about these medicines? Mm, I request the side, the side of Yeah. Yes. Hmm. I, I, I'll, I'll ask uh, Dr. Paul and uh, Devjit Paul uh, to so answer this. I mean, uh, in the, the second wave only, what we have gathered is that uh, you give just uh, paracetamol, okay, we give uh, some uh, antibiotics like azithromycin for, for initial five days or so. Uh, we are, uh, although sir is saying, uh, Dr. Panda is saying that uh, there's no role for ivermectin, but we've been giving ivermectin for three days to patients. And uh, other than that, just the vitamins, zinc supplementation and uh, vitamin C supplementation. Vitamin C supplementation is given at a dosage of 500 milligrams twice in a day for around 10, 15 days. Other than that, uh, as he is uh, telling that you gauge the, how the patient is progressing or is doing or the fever is subsiding after say, fifth, sixth, seventh day. Mm -hmm. If it does end, then you run another set of tests, which are blood tests to assess the current position of the pneumonitis, the uh, condition of the infection. You do a CBC to assess the leukocyte count and check whether there are any bacterial infections uh, in addition to the viral one. Then you get a CRP done to assess uh, the status of the pneumonia. Uh, you can get a IL-6 done to give you some idea about the extent of a uh, likely cytokine storm. You can get a LDH done to see what kind of uh, damage has been done to your alveoli. And then you can start off by doing a simple plain X-ray of the chest in which you will be able to see ground glassing effect in the x-rays. Now, if that is there, then uh, it's almost like conclusive that although the RT-PCR was negative, you are looking at a COVID patient. Now, other than that, what you do is the HRCT, which they have got a scoring system in place now. They have divided the lungs in five lobes, five different lobes, and they score five points for each and they give a CT score. Okay. Like up to 9 is mild, 9 to 15 is moderate, and beyond that okay. is C. So you can only treat mild and moderate ones at home. Other ones, moderate ones also, I mean, we do not, uh, we prefer not to treat anything more than say 10 at home. Go for the oxygen saturation, that is the ultimate guide for uh, therapy and treatment. <clears throat> because if the patient is maintaining oxygen, say even with a score, CT score of say 12-25, doesn't matter, you can still manage him at home with the steroids and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, once uh, you assess that, okay, despite steroids, I mean, uh, steroids it's now, not go, go, there's a range of giving steroids. Right. It can, so there, there can be patients in home, oral steroids or injectable steroids are contraindicated, like say mm -hmm. people who have got a high sugar levels and all. So you try giving those inhalational steroids. Budicotia, Budicinoid, whatever. Now, if this works, then it is fine. This settles the score fine. Otherwise, you go in for a low, mild dose uh, tablets or whatever. Okay. Methylprednisolone is the preferred one, which has got the best penetration in the lung and least harmful to the kidneys. Say, suppose the oxygen concentration, despite giving steroids, is falling, trending to fall below 90. You are mm -hmm. managing the patient at home. Right. Uh, arrange some kind of oxygen at home. Now, this is the time when you should shift to injectable steroids. So, injectable okay. steroids con uh, consist of a group called Solimedrol, which is available in India as, say, 125, 250 milligrams injectables. You can use those at home. And that okay. is where you stop uh, the treatment at home. If the beds in big cities of ours, even in Kolkata, sitting today, Finding a bed for a, a patient is an uphill task. Now, 
uh, what do you do in those kind of situations? So just continue with that treatment at home and do all those things like proning and all, and right. try and set up the oxygen level by hook or by crook. But we have been, by God's grace, we have been able to manage few tricky ones also, a few diabetic ones also at mm -hmm. home only. Mm -hmm. We are not worse than say 91, 92. Okay. We haven't handled anything which was worse than that. Okay. That's great to hear. That's that's a lot of information. Yes. I had one question to Dr. Panda. As I think I had already asked you, now what if somebody who has taken a first dose of Covaxin didn't get anything in between, no infection, nothing, just uh, getting a second dose and he has crossed six weeks or a COVID shield has crossed eight weeks. Now, one thing is that you, if it is say a matter of few days, doesn't matter. But is there any government guidelines regarding this in our country? Uh, like uh, to what, uh, how many days you can give it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is a very good uh, critical question. Uh, for Kubishin, we have some information that although these are like um, you know, smaller uh, number of participants and analysis, uh, that says that you can still go up to 12 weeks uh, for the second dose following the first dose. So that's about Kubishin. For Kubaxin, there is no such data. Now, however, whatever for whatever reason, I am pushed to the eighth week but then I should still take it at the earliest possible opportunity and uh, hoping that I will still mount because even the immunity, I did not actually answer what Ishita asked me uh, right at the beginning. This actually gave me an opportunity to say uh, to Ishita, not to any of the doctors because all of us know. Uh, immunity Ishita has two arms. One is neutralizing antibody tiger, that's called humoral arm of the immunity or antibody mediated immunity. And it has been found out that neutralizing antibody concentration comes down for those who get naturally infected or even for the vaccinated individuals. We do not know how uh, long they will, they will persist in sufficient uh, titer. There is an immune arm called cell-mediated immunity. And it has been found out that cell-mediated immune arm persists longer than the uh, neutralizing antibody. So even if my neutralizing antibody titer comes down, coming back now to the situation of Dr. Paul, I took my first dose, I took my second dose inadvertently, I, I, was, I was not planning for it, and that might impact negatively uh, upon my antibody titer, but it would still hit my cell mediated immunity because they work through the memory cells and cytotoxic lymphocytes and natural killer cells. They still respond. Uh, but Ishita, you must take a lesson from what Dr. Paul said. That is one very, very important point. He, while he was talking about the investigations, he said physicians should take a decision about taking the which investigations to go for. Because this right, is what right. we are seeing. People are going to the laboratories and asking for investigations like D-dimer and C-reactive protein, and they are being exploited. Okay. They are being ripped off. So be it medicine, be it oral steroid, injectable steroid, be it investigation, let us not panic. Let us always consult the treating physician. Dr. Panda, as a patient, if I have missed out on taking a Covaxin shot, say at eight weeks, I still prefer to go and get it. But would the government offer it still to me? That is the thing I want to do. Yeah, yeah, government will. Yeah. They will still accept it. You have to tell uh, uh, the, there are four uh, individuals. You have to tell this to the immunization officer. There is a oh. there is a vaccinator and there are three other people. One is immunization officer. You have to tell there is a vaccination session site as an immunization officer. So if that person authorizes it, then it is okay. Yes. Right. Yes. For interviews and other section, check the link description below or other videos in this channel.